Hi everyone, this is Fortnon from Super User Project Dial. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a cheap Chrome box. Now this is using Chromium OS, which is similar to Chrome OS, which runs on Chromebooks. You get a similar experience here. So it's a browser-based operating system. It runs pretty good on the Raspberry Pi, so let's go ahead and install it. So to get this operating system installed on your Pi, you're going to need another computer running Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. And so you head over to this link in the description and you can download the image. So you want to have a micro SD card inserted into your computer that you don't need the operating system or whatever's on it. And so you head down here and you find the image XZ and you want to click on that to download. Now I'm going to save this as really quick. Normally you won't have to do this. And so now this is downloading here. Okay, so now what we want to do is head over to Raspberry Pi Imager. If you have not downloaded this, I will leave a link in the description. You want to do choose OS. And then you want to scroll down and use custom. And you want to select the place where you saved the file you just downloaded. Then you want to choose storage, choose your micro SD card you have inserted into your computer and click right. Now once this is completed, you can remove the card from your computer, put it in your Pi and turn it on. We will see you there. Okay, so now this is verifying. I'm just going to cancel this to make it quicker, although you can verify if you'd like. All right, so my Pi is all hooked up here. I put the micro SD in that I just wrote to, and now I'm going to plug it in and it will turn on. And so it should start booting up right here. We will see what happens. Oh yeah, it's booting up. Okay, so now we are to the screen. It's similar to the screen you'd get the first time you turn on a Chromebook. So let's click Let's Go. So you want to, to connect to Ethernet or Wi-Fi back there in that last step. I have it connected to Ethernet right now, but I can add the Wi-Fi connection later. It's just checking for updates. Okay, so now we can choose who is using it right here. Okay, so now we sign in. So you just sign in using your Google account. So if you have an email or something like that, you can just sign in here. So I will do this really quick. Okay, so now we are loading here and it will have this ready shortly. Okay, so get started right here. And we are to our desktop, so we can close out this window. And you can get your desktop all customized if you like. But now we can basically start using everything. So we have the Chromium browser right here. So say we want to go to my channel, I have this bookmarked under my account. So we can look around here. Let's let's try out some video performance. So we will go to my latest video. Now let's take this full screen. Right click stats for nerds. Let's see what resolution this is. This one is not as high as some of them, but let's just see how it performs anyway. So that actually doesn't seem very good since it's a lower resolution. So I guess this operating system might not be so good for video playback, although it will handle some. But if you're doing a lot of video playback, you might want to look at something else. But it is also getting better, you know, often. So it might improve in the future. Now, normally Chromebooks can access the Play Store and Chromeboxes. But this one cannot access the Play Store. There is another version of this that you can set up that can, but it's harder to set up. So I might make a video of that at some point. 
we will just see about that. But if you want just basic, you know, browser functionality, I think this is a pretty fast operating system. Rather than a video playback, it seems like it performs really good. So say we were to head over to GitHub. Seems to load fairly quick for a Pi. So yeah, the, this seems to be performing all right and everything. So if you want to improve the graphics performance of this, you can tweak the resolution. So you want to go to settings and then what you want to do is go to the search box and type in display and you can do display resolution and you can change the resolution here. And then you can also change the scaling if you'd like. So if I bumped these up right here, then it would make it easier for you to see things. So we have our files app, we have things like that, and we also have Linux support on these. So this menu is a little bit glitchy here. Hopefully that gets fixed in the future. It is not super stable yet. So we can head over to developers and we can turn on the Linux development environment. I have tested that. You can install Linux apps. You can install, you know, LibreOffice, stuff like that. It, it seems like it works pretty good. So if you're interested in that, but you just mainly want to use this operating system for, you know, browsing the web, things like that, that will be a good thing. So you can also use the Google Office Suite. So you can go and see these Google apps, but you can use, you know, docs, sheets and slides. You can use the Google online stuff for your email. You know, you obviously can use it online and you know, it's all, it's all stuff that runs in a browser. So there's lots of things that Google has here to offer. So it might be a good operating system for you to check out. And so until next time, we will see you next time. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and until next time.